Hey y'all, this is Lenore from the Cheeky Chipmunk in New York City. I say y'all because I grew up in New Orleans. <laughs> um, but I'm in New York now, and this is my kit. It's the Craft and Go table, and it is awesome. I love it so much. So, yeah, it's big, and it's super heavy, I won't lie. I don't bring it to every kind of gig there is. Like if someone says, hey, I'm in the Upper East Side and I'm in a five floor walk up and I don't have an elevator, I am not bringing this kit. I'm not going to kill myself. But I have a smaller mini kit I bring for events like that. If it's at the playground, if it's at someone's house and they're on a bottom level or in a building and they have an elevator, I am super happy to bring this kit. And um, I'm going to do a super quick review for you right now. So this is what it looks like when it's open. It comes with six of these pouches, but I bought two more. Uh, here I have first aid and sanitation stuff like Lysol and soap and Altoids. Here I have metallic powders and that liquid that activates it. Um, adhesive gems gems that I need to glue on and then look because the back is velcro I have the little glue non-latex glue for the gems right there stencils daubers liquid bling poofered glitter I have my brushes set up here on these sponges they just come right in and out here, this compartment that comes in the kit, I use for my glitter, and I Velcro that down. Um, here I put my business cards, because that's the perfect size for that. I put metal down here, and this is all magnetized. I have my awesome Silly Farm stickers for the kids to know which number they are. I cannot do a gig without these, never again. They're so awesome. And Q-tips for lips, blush, bobby pins. I wear this around my neck. It is an unbreakable mirror and a counter and keys for my kit. Here I've got my rainbow cakes. I've got water and alcohol. And then over here, I've got my paints. And this kit comes with these two big plastic boards. Uh, they're work surfaces because the kit was originally made for people doing crafts and scrapbooking and stuff. And I didn't really, I wasn't crazy about those boards. They're really heavy. And I'm sure that if you're at home a lot, using this at home, um, they're great and you need a lot of work surface. But I felt like I needed to access everything easily. And they were just really heavy. So I took them out and I got this board. It's it's like a calendar dry erase magnet board. And it was the perfect size to put here. So then I covered it in black contact paper. I put magnets on the back of my paint containers. And look, y'all, it all stays on. And then I can open this up any way I want. And underneath, I've got this superhero cape I did for the last kid in line. I've got my contracts. I've got these cleanup cards so that kids know how, to, or the parents know how to take the face paint off kids at the end of the day. I've got temporary tattoos. And I just put all that stuff under there. And then in this compartment, I have all of my powdered pigments. So I've got my lollipop smoothie blenders, I've got my Ben Nye Magic Cakes, my Star Blends, which I decanted and even made new colors. Thank you, Denise Cold. You're awesome. And um, my Ben Nye Lumiere palette right there. So that's all my powders. Oh, and in this little compartment over here, glycerin I use for the Star Blends. So then I can close that. Just dropping this down. It says way easier with two hands, but I'm holding a camera. All right. So there's my glycerin. And then over here I keep pens and markers. 
and a pencil, a palette knife to make new split cakes, and glue in case my magnets pop off, or in case I get a new paint and I need to add a new magnet. Um, and I keep my water over here. So here it says clean and dirty, and I use these clips to hold these mesh bags. My dirty sponges are in the wash right now, but you get the idea. And then over here, I take these plastic, gar um, like grocery bags. I cut them like this. I spend like a little time cutting a whole bunch of them. And I keep these handy in my backpack. I just tie them like this so that I have a little garbage bag there. And that's it. Um, I carry my big daubers and my sponges in my backpack and my water and um, that's that's kind of it y'all um, pull down my boa I pull down the water and I put the empty water bin in my backpack and I close this up I'm good to go on the back I'm gonna have a killer word board which I will post pictures of when I'm done and that way the kids can see it from the opposite side right and that's really cool because I like them on the other side of my kit. I like that's why I like this a bit better than the kind of scra um, face paint tables that don't have a lid like that that are just open because I feel like that invites kids standing over here to touch and grab and this sort of puts up a wall <laughs> and they stand on the other side and they can read the list and see the pictures to choose from if you have that. Um, and it keeps them over there, so I have space here to work. And, oh, the legs. I want to talk to you about the legs. So this is super awesome, right? So I'm going to get under here. So you see how there's a cavity? And it's really deep, too. It's like the width of four of my fingers. And what's cool about that is that when you fold up these legs, they go into that cavity. So when it's folded up, the legs are in there, right? And they're not sticking out. They're not hitting you when you walk. Um, they're recessed into the kit. And I love that. They're super easy to open and close. Um, and that's it. That's uh, Lenore from the Cheeky Chipmunk. Showing off to her craft and go. Come on, focus. Craft and go. It's awesome. That's uh, www.craftandgo.com. C-R-A-F-T-N-G-O.com. And that's my kit. Here's the underside of it. And now I'm going to take a nap. Oh! A stretch. And I'm done.